Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Cam back at you again. Today we're checking out the brand new from Summer Nam Charvel DK24 2.HH in Burgundy Mist. Let's go. <laughs> So the latest addition to the Charvel DK24 two-point range, the HH version, seen here in Burgundy Mist. This is Charvel's version of Burgundy Mist. I think it looks really cool. Slightly different to the Fender one, I think. It's a little pinker somehow. Don't know why, but anyway, just to take you through the specs very quickly, they've made some slight adjustments this year compared to the HSS model and the HSH versions, which were a big hit. And in this case, we have a series parallel switch, which has unlocked five more new sounds. And it really, really works well. So you've got an even more diverse guitar for the money now. It's really, really cool. Just to take you through the basic spec, we have Charvel locking tuners, a caramelized maple neck and fingerboard. Great thing about caramelized maple, it's pretty much immune to climatic changes. So you can go all around the world and your neck won't move. It's brilliant. We have a compound radius stretching from 12 to 16 inches. We have 24 jumbo frets. A unique feature to this guitar as well, the DK24 two points I should say, is the lumen lays on the side which glow in the dark, which I think is really cool. Bring the guitar back round. We have a thumb wheel truss rod adjustment down here, so should, by freak occasion, you've gone from the Arctic to a barren desert in the middle of nowhere and your neck moves, you can adjust it without having to take the neck off. We have an older body. Flipping the guitar around, it's got some really, really cool uh, cutout stuff here. It's got a super deep belly cut here, and it's also got the shredder's heel here, which is basically where they've, they've sculpted down the neck heel and left this big cutaway here. So it's super easy to access the higher fret should you need to. Another thing they've tidied up as well is the previous model had black bolts, and some people used to complain saying that it, it left uh, funny marks on the paint job here, but they've tidied that up now and left it with silver bolts, which I think looks really cool, and it's super neat and classy. Flipping the guitar over, we have a Goto 510 bridge, which is fully back routed and is perfect for the fluttery stuff. You can do the occasional dive bomb it on it, which does remind me of something. In previous reviews, I said it stayed in tune just like a Floyd Rose, and it does stay in tune very well. I'm fortunate to have guitars that are stay in tune rock solid, and these do too. But I made out, I think, that you could use it like a Floyd Rose, which, if you want to, go for it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, we have a volume and a tone. The volume is an EVH Bourne's low friction pot, which is really nice. And we have a no load tone knob system here. Of course, we have the series parallel switch, which I'll talk about in a moment, a five way pickup switch, and the humbuckers in this case is a Seymour Duncan full shred in the bridge and an Alnico 2 Pro in the neck. And I love this combination, it's really, really eclectic and diverse. I've been studying the comments on the previous videos for, on, when I say the previous videos, the promo videos that Charvel just put out. And some people are saying, that the full shred is too powerful, or the incorrect choice. But that's interesting since the full shred is actually less powerful than a JB by quite some, quite a fair way. It's really, really cool. It's got a nice sort of top end sound, which is ideal for the single coil stuff. 
and it complements the Alnico 2 Pro very well. I really like it. So, to take you through the pickup positions, when you have the switch down in series mode, you have position one is bridge humbucker. Second position, you get the inner coils. In the third position, you have both humbuckers on. They've brought that back. I really miss that. We have in the fourth position, the outer coils, which is like a telly in essence. And then in the fifth position, full neck humbucker. Then put the switch into parallel mode. In the first position, you have two single coils here in the bridge. They become two single coils. Second position, you have two inner coils running in parallel. In the middle position, you have four single coils on simultaneously. So single coil, single coil, single coil, single coil. Really cool. Love that. It's unique to it's the only Charvels that do that style, that pickup position rather. Fourth position is the outer coils again running in parallel, so you get a different flavor. Then in the fifth position, it is two single coils in the neck. All positions are hum cancelling, they sound great, they're super comfortable, and for every guitarist, did I mention the jack socket was there, which is really cool? Uh, they are superb instruments, they're really well made, they're made in Mexico, and you get so much guitar for the money. It's basically a scaled down Guthrie Govan model, if that's what you're in the market for. They're really comfortable to play. As I say, Charvel are known for their rolled fingerboard edges and stuff like that. They're so easy to play. I really, really love these, and there's something in these guitars for everyone, whether you're a jazzer, a fusion guy, or a full-blown heavy rock player. So, it's all at your disposal with these guitars. Definitely check them out. Let's get into some playing. I'll stop rambling on. <laughs>
Thanks so much for watching this review, guys. I hope you've liked what you've seen. Please make sure you like, subscribe, tell me what you think of these guitars. Check out the previous reviews as well of the HSH and the HSS models. You'll really like those too. They're still available. Definitely check them out. Please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you again in the next video. Take care.